I probably should have told you guys this. I've never made this before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> started on today's video, the most important thing first, Stanny, are you hungry? Is it good? Hello and welcome back to another cooking episode. But this time, I am not gonna be doing the cooking. My sister is in town. She is rummaging in the pantry right now. Um, I still don't know what the name of this dish she's making, but we're going to follow along with her to see how she makes us a healthy meal. This is right before the wedding, so we, you know, we, we're trying to fit into our dress. Um, Kristen, can you explain exactly what? Why do you have two big ass things of onion powder and neither of them are open? Because they're new. I was running out. I mean, you ran out because there's no other onion in here. <laughs> sorry. Um, you, want, you want to come to the shop? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, <laughs> Um, so I call it just a nourish bowl. Um, I think some people also call it like a Buddha bowl or something like that, but I don't, whatever. It's basically a whole bunch of roasted veggies, um, over, you can either do it over quinoa, but tonight I'm going to do it over, um, cilantro lime rice, mainly because I really like the rice from Chipotle. So I'm going to make that and then I could do the rice. I mean, I could just make the basic white rice and then you can add whatever you need to. How many times do you wash your rice? Oh, all the time. How, no, like how many rinses do you do of your rice? Like three. Okay. <laughs> all right, then, then you can make the rice. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically, it's pretty simple. Um, it's a lot of chopping, but we'll take you along with us. All right, Kristen, explain all like why what this is all for like just for the veggies or what yeah this is just for the veggies uh these are my like go-to seasonings you can season your vegetables however you want but this is just kind of this is my tried and true <laughs> i know it's gonna taste good um seasoning so yeah oh, yeah there's that and um i guess since i pull all the veggies out i can just kind of Go, like show you guys what I'm putting in it. Yeah, because it's a lot of shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in control of the rice today. So I'm gonna get started on that. We use the vanilla rice. So we about to wash this and get it cooking. So my sister can add all the special stuff to it because I just make basic rice. She's the one that dresses it up. So let's get started on this. So we got our rice. We're gonna wash it which uh, we're gonna wash several times. You just kinda fill it, fill it with the water and then you just move it around to get all the gunk off. And then you can see that the water is like murky. That's kinda what you want. So we're just gonna do this process several times and then we're gonna pop it in the rice cooker. So if you have plants, drain this water into another bowl and use it to water your plants. It's a good fertilizer for them, and it also helps kill um, pests. <laughs> I think the camera has been focusing on the. That's okay. <laughs> they can hear me, right? There we go. Cool. Yeah, Sorry. <laughs> I'm just I'm draining I'm draining chickpeas. That's one of the veggies that we're gonna be putting in there. Um, I basically just drain it, and then I'll just rinse it a couple times and like dry it off. Okay, so as you can see, the rice has pretty much clear water in it, and that's what we want. Probably going to put a little bit more water in it, but we're going to start cooking this, and then we're going to follow up to what do you do the chicken? Kristen the, the, is doing. The chicken. Did you do the finger measurement for the water? No. You don't know the finger measurement thing? 
I just eyeball it. No. That's why you were adding water to it hella last minute. <laughs> How deep is this? Okay, so what is the finger measurement? <laughs> it's an Asian thing. <laughs> you, you basically have the water come up to this oh. this part of your finger, like when oh, you then put I it. Definitely didn't. When you put your finger on the top of the rice, right? Mm -hmm. So y yeah, you would have to add more water. Sorry. Nope, we're good. Oh, okay. See, I see here. Well, this is why she's a cook and I'm not. But this is why when we have a special chef in the house, we have to record it because everything else, I'm just cooking <laughs> eggs for you guys, so. All right, you wanna see the veggies? Yes. All right, so we have some sweet potato. Um, we have the chickpeas that I rinsed, um, onion, broccoli. I think I'm gonna sliver up some garlic cause who doesn't like garlic? And then with the kale, I'm going to actually saute this on the stove just enough for it to get a little bit soft. Mm -hmm. And then um, at the end, we'll top it off with avocado since we have some of that too. So can, can we not add this to mine? I'm adding this at like after okay, cool. to just my bowl. Okay, great. Some of us are adults and others are not and they don't eat their, their veggies. Yeah. <laughs> so my sister taught me this trick. You wet uh, uh, paper towels next to when you're cutting onions and then you won't cry anymore. So I'm starting to think that like, it might not be all the way true because yesterday when I did it, I still got really teary eyed. Are you getting teary eyed now? No, but I also cut really fast. Like I try to work as fast. <laughs> I try to work as fast as I can. Um, mm -hmm. So. But I know people say like, if you cut the root, that's that's where you get, that's where you get caught up. Oh. So I try to avoid cutting that. That's probably why I fucked up. What do you think, Stanny? Stanny will just eat an onion and not even smell it. That's just who he is. Oh. oh. <laughs> you still. What's that? You just ate a. Okay. Is it spicy? Oh, all I right. Don't care. Okay. All right. Well. Care. You just. Uh, cool. So you just basically like put everything on the on the on the pan, spread it out, mix it up. Drizzle it with olive oil and then put all of your seasonings on top and then just mm -hmm. like use your hand and just kind of like mix it all together. It's super easy. It doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, the oven is preheated at 375. So once this goes in, it'll go in for about like 25 minutes or until it's, it's crispy. Um, and then we will pull it out and put it on top of, whoop, put it on top of the rice. I think I'm a great cameraman. Think so? Yep. Oh, I love broccoli. Yep. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Good boy. You're getting all your veggies in. Look at that face. Don't me just make enough. Okay, that's great. That is just. This is why you sit in the freaking kitchen, right in the middle. You're doing great. Am I? I'm proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. I was thinking about filming it, but I was like, you know what, I'm too tired. I gotta rush because I gotta go to volleyball, whatever, whatever, so I didn't record it. But last night, I made rice and spicy curry for my sister and Keith. It was not spicy, but... It yeah. wasn't, but you know, <laughs> it said it was spicy. So I made this curry, my best batch ever. The consistency was exactly what I wanted. I added new veggies, a whole bunch of veggies in it. Perfect. And I used a slow cooker, four hours, done. So I come home from volleyball at around midnight. Well, wait, okay. Before she leaves for volleyball, she tells me if Keith doesn't come downstairs before I leave, let him know that 
there's curry and rice for dinner. I say bet. He's sleeping, so I'm not trying to wake him. So I give Kristen the, the instructions and I leave. I come back home and I go into his office. I see he has an empty bowl and I said, oh, what'd you think of the curry? He said it was delicious. I want to rep I want to substitute you for your sister for every dinner and I, for, for the curry. And I was very confused, like, what? I guess it was supposed to be a joke, but it just went over my head because I was very stuck on the part where he said curry. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Why do you want to sub me out for for my sister and the curry? Oh, because this curry was really, really good. <laughs> he thought she made the curry. And I specifically said, you will not be giving anyone else that fucking credit. I told him, I went upstairs before I like went to bed and I said, hey, whenever you're hungry, Ani, which is her, made curry and rice for dinner. He said, okay. And then I saw him downstairs, he said, thank you. And I thought he was saying thank you for like delivering the message. So I was like, oh yeah, you're welcome. But he thought. <laughs> it was so good that he thought my sister made it. And he couldn't believe that I made it. I am insulted. I'm flattered that like, and I told him this, I was like, I'm like, I'm flattered that like my reputation is starting to like get a little bit ahead of me now. And I was like, but I feel like, I feel like, if just the idea of me making it makes it taste better to you, then like maybe my cooking is starting to be like a placebo, right? Like maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but I feel like if you were to make the curry, it would have been a lot better anyway. Yeah, so. and I mean, I could make curry, but like you don't have a blender, so. Cause I, I do it from scratch. Yeah, not me. And we don't have a blender, so. It's actually really easy to make from scratch, but you don't have a blender, so. I don't. Story time over. <laughs> um, what else do I have? Do we want to add garlic or no? Yeah. Okay. Of course we want garlic. What kind of question? Look at all those colors. If somebody wasn't such a child, I would have added bell peppers to this. But. Mm, yeah, we don't do that in this house. Well, at least not with me. Keith loves peppers, but I don't, so no peppers. Someone told me that like, the more colors in your veggies, the better. They are right. 100% right. Yeah. Because it's broccoli. I wish there was red in here. <laughs> Oh, darn. <laughs> darn. All right, so everything is in the pan. It fits. Let me fix it. Oh, so now, I'm just gonna do some olive oil to make sure all the seasoning sticks. And then do pepper. And with the seasonings, like you just you just go till your ancestors whisper in your ear to stop. I don't <laughs> like I just eyeball it. I go off a feeling. But I also prefer a lot of seasoning, so I know some people don't, which is weird. She's not talking about me, guys. <laughs> sure. Um, okay, so then that was pepper. This is onion powder. And then, oh. Here, I'll oh, that's the extra one, okay. And then garlic powder. And then, I thought this was open. I'll open it. There's an open one in there though. Then why didn't you grab the open one? Because I thought this was the open one. You have like three paprikas in there. You can use the rest of that if you want. I might. Bitch, I might be. <laughs> I think it's empty. Is it? <laughs> okay, 
And then some salt. Yeah, sodium. Mmm. Always use kosher salt, guys, when you're cooking. Let's get some high blood pressure in this bitch. Well, iodine never hurt nobody. <laughs> Alright, I guess. I guess that's enough. And then, just mix it. Oh, you're getting dirty. Everything is coated to your liking. I'm gonna wash my hands really fast. Like All right. All right. You said prepping the kale. What do? You, what does that mean? What are you doing to the kale? Uh. So fresh ass kale. Yeah. <laughs> Taking as many as I think I'm gonna need. So maybe we'll do like, I think two might be fine between the three of us if it's mm -hmm. just like a little corner. Mm -hmm. Wash it. Stand this away. And then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this spine away mm -hmm. because that's going to be really hard and bitter and we don't. Oh, I did not you, know that. You actually could just tear it off. Like you could just use your hands to just do this. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not an be iron chef. Be a caveman. Chef. I'm not an iron chef, okay? Yeah, you're barbaric. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, so yeah, you just want to get rid of the spine. And especially since we're not going to be like cooking it for super long, it's not going to be enough to like soften this and make it worth mm -hmm. eating. So get rid of that. Just like tear these up in small sizes. And then when we saute them, um, put a little olive oil in the pan mm -hmm. and I might even like massage it a little bit before I turn the heat on. Can I get a massage? No. All right. And then yeah, cook it for a couple minutes. Do just some... soften it up. That's not. Nah, that's kind of a lot. Whatevs. Um. Actually, yeah. Also, I probably should have told you guys. I've never made this before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're just kind of, we're just kind of winging it today. Wouldn't, wouldn't have guessed it. <laughs> you sure have a lot of confidence. You know. Yeah, that's fine. Since, since the other veggies also have salt, it's just, it's not, oh no. No, Stannis is not gonna eat that. I'm hungry now. Do one of these. Absolutely not. I'd rather have some grilled seaweed roll. Here's my water bottle. Rice is done cooking, so we're gonna go ahead and add. Wait, what do you have in your hand? Butter. Butter? Yeah. Oh, okay. Butter. Unsalted butter. <laughs> Always use unsalted butter. <laughs> yeah, because you, you put salt in everything else. Well, no, because. You don't know how much salt is actually in the butter. Mm -hmm. And so you don't want to throw off the seasoning oh. by trying to guess how salty the butter is going to make your food. Yeah. So unsalted butter is best. Look at that rice. So we'll let that get in there. Let that melt. And then we'll also throw in the cilantro. I made that. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> throw this in there. I do all that. I feel like we're probably, we might end up using the whole lime, but okay. we'll start with half. So if you don't have a, what's it called? A, a, a squeeze, a squeezer thing? Yeah. Just take a fork. <laughs> Stab it, jiggle and squeeze. Just took this 
out of the oven and this is what it looks like. What do you think? Uh, it's good. I just poked one of one of the potatoes and it's mm -hmm. soft, so I think it's oh, good. where we need it to be. Okay. Yeah. Still working on the rice. I'm gonna add the other lime. Do you wanna try it? Yeah. Here, here's a fork. Here, take this. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Like one more, more spoonful. Thank you. Okay, and then I'll put some of this. Okay. Thank you. And here. Ouch. <laughs> and then you did say yes to avocado, right? Yes, please. I don't think Keith is gonna want avocado. Oh really? Yeah. He doesn't like avocado? No. He doesn't like happiness? Joy? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Does he eat guacamole? No, not really. Would he eat it if I made it? Uh, probably. Like, he's not like me where he just won't eat it. Okay. Like, if you fit on food, he'll eat it, but... But like, chips and guac? Preference. Chips and guac, not a, not a fan? I mean, if he's really hungry, he'll eat it. It's weird. You're weird. We're just picky eaters. That's why y'all get married. Goddamn right. We're right in the middle. Yum. That is how it looks. Shut them up. Ice cream for dessert. So thank you guys so much for checking us out today. Even though I didn't do very much, I just made the rice, but Kristen did everything. So technically, this is a Kristen video, but I'm gonna put it on my channel anyway. So once again, thank you guys so much for checking us out. Please don't forget to <laughs> chop that like button and the subscribe. <laughs> and <laughs> And for all the returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for continuing to support me and my, <laughs> and my sister in this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! I'm gonna be turning king, holding me down. Yeah. Too many of eternities is hunger, but no.